Hello guys and welcome back to the Isle of Wight. Last time round we were working on one of my favourite builds to date, God's Hill Model Village. Now I don't know whether it's the fact that I have been here many times and recreating it almost as I remember was what I enjoyed doing. I'm not sure if it was that or the fact that you was building a model inside a model. <laughs> I'm not sure but I really really did find this very exciting, really fun to build. Probably in the top five builds I have done in City Skylines for sure because it just I just really enjoyed it. I didn't want to stop building. I wanted to expand further. I wanted to do more, more detailing. Um, but yeah, I, I really, really did enjoy doing this. It was such an interesting project, something I've never done before. And I never thought I'd be able to actually achieve this. And uh, you guys left some really nice comments as well in the comment section about this build. So thank you. And I know a few of you guys have said as well that it reminded you of your time when you was on the island or perhaps your youth when you visited these types of model villages in your own um, local areas. So that's really cool as well. I'm glad that inspired you and brought some um, happy and fond memories back to yourselves. But today we are going to be working on something completely different, somewhere totally far away that we haven't worked on yet. And it's going to be based around a football ground. Now it's not going to be a football stadium, it's going to be a small town based football grounds very iconic if you're in the UK you'll you'll recognize this build I hope straight away but a lot of people were suggesting some locations and the best one for sure was the Newport football ground now I did ask you guys to suggest the best football ground and a lot of you a good five or six of you suggested that we have a look at the St George's Park in Newport and I did that I looked on Google Maps and you didn't let me down guys this location is perfect you'll see popping up on the screen now what this area looks like for this stadium or ground actually i should probably call it and it does work so well this is exactly the image i had in my head of what i wanted to build and it's very similar to a, a football ground local to me and it's you know if you're in the uk you get you see these these sort of stadiums and grounds around a lot a lot of the time they are small, they have a little grandstand, if that. Um, and it's, you know, very amateur based, semi professional football. We're not talking about Premier League stuff here. So, this was perfect. So, thank you everyone for your comments on where we should build or what we should build this based upon. This works perfectly, it really does. And I've not actually done a football ground yet in City Skylands. I've done a recreation of a football stadium, but a football ground is a lot different in the sense of how you've come to achieve the build itself. Obviously there's not as much in terms of uh, facilities around it. It's pretty much just a pitch with a small little, um, well, dugout area, changing rooms, not really much going on. I wanted to really create the feeling that this area is kind of, you know, low maintenance, not much happens here so to speak um, and sort of go with that sort of flow so you'll see on camera here first we're just mapping out the the area itself with um, a bit of road construction I've not really spent a lot of time in my video showing some working on the actual uh, sort of road networking so I wanted to spend a bit of time on this I wanted to create the exact roundabouts you will see by this football ground um, and sort of have a little go of this because I, I do really enjoy placing down roads. Obviously, Monaco was the last time I really um, had some interesting road layouts to put down. And um, the Island of Wight is, you know, there's not a lot of areas that are too outrageously different to normal UK layouts. But I particularly like these two roundabouts because in contrast between the two, they are two very different types of roundabouts. You've got the very simple one here which not really much is going on you know it's got three different entrances and exits, exits there um, but the other one further down the road has a lot going on it's a bit more of a bigger um, dual carriageway almost like um, roundabout so I wanted to try and include both of those in and I really wanted to try and build up and make these work well together now I know there are all of these amazing mods now that make roundabouts for you and all this and all that but I like doing it myself. The whole point and the whole enjoyment of this game is to build something yourself. Sometimes it is nice to have that functionality dealt with for you, but 
building the roundabout you know in my eyes I'm building the UK theme build here we're not talking grids and pretty looking circular build um, road layouts I want to have a little bit of a variance one I don't want things to be perfect because they're not in real life um, so I just went with building it myself um, as opposed to using these roundabout creators and I, I, I just enjoy doing it I'm not sure what you guys do in the in, um, in your builds let me know in the comments section do you enjoy road layouts do you kind of hate doing it and you just go for a grid build because you can't really think of other ways of doing things let me know because it's interesting to see where people sort of enjoy and where they struggle and, uh, and go with that so that's always an interesting thing to find out so now we are going to be placing down the football grounds so there is a small little car park as you come off the main road on onto it so i wanted to recreate that as best i could and there's a lot of football stadiums and grounds on the workshop and for me personally this one here worked the best um not only because i actually really like the um the grass decals they, they look really realistic and they suit the, the uk grass looking sort of theme we're going with here not only that but it also has these little terraces as well the little seating areas now they're more like an american approach i guess um typically in the uk you would have some sort of grandstands like this where people would just be standing um but generally speaking they do normally have some sort of a roof over the top so we'll work on that very shortly um, but you also see i use prop it up as well to remove all of the other props and assets that we have around this stadium as as a default from the workshop because i just want it to be very basic and clean here i wanted to do the detailing myself i don't want to have too much going on now the issue i did have was there was seating on one side of the stadium but unfortunately I wanted it to be on the other side because that's the my, the main part of the build um, for this football ground. You come in off the road, you park your car up, and you normally then enter the stadium. And there's normally the, the main grandstand normally is as soon as you walk in. So what I have to do in the end is we use PO and um, basically be, try and be a bit clever here and uh, copy the actual ground itself using PO and then we'll basically just paste it down and try and hide the bits we don't want so you'll see that coming up shortly um, I also wanted to try and find a suitable looking um, I guess it's the changing room area maybe there's a little pub inside as well they normally have a sort of a bar inside these as a, a means of making more money for the facility running sort of parties etc so I wanted to try and find something that was best suited for that and this one here certainly had that look about it. it kind of fit with the other buildings that are already on there um and it worked it worked out nicely I'm, I'm quite happy with this one um i mean there it might not be quite the right shape and it doesn't quite work if you think too much into it but i think we can get away with it i think it worked out okay now i did put this building down here at first um my intentions were to try and create a feel that the clubhouse is a little bit bigger than just this one block um, and i wanted to almost feel like this grandstand itself was part of the actual clubhouse as well so we use this coronated iron um sort of shelters i think they're classes on the workshop um and again quite common in the uk you'll get to see these sort of stadiums with these sort of very basic metal or plastic roofs not you know they're not they're not the most exciting and prettier things um i think ideally i probably would have preferred it to have not been this sort of rusty look um but it adds character to the build and um yeah i think it still worked quite nicely now you'll also find that they do have a big six to eight foot wall all the way across and around the um the actual ground itself they obviously don't have the stadium in every corner like in a premier league um, game, uh, ground whereby everything is concealed and the building itself can only be entered by the outside obviously in these if you didn't have these walls around you can just jump and run on the pitch which isn't realistic and wouldn't really be a thing um and we i was trying to find a way of putting some nets up against the um, back of the goals as well um 
to I mean you tend to see that quite a lot as well if the stadium's not filled out in the sense of like a Premier League one you would have these nettings around the back side of the football goal uh, the goal posts which are meant to prevent and catch the ball um, going off into the fields in this case so that's um, one thing we wanted to work on but we've put this perimeter around now and that works out really nice um, and these are the metal fences we, we, we went with these ball fences um, I think ideally it would be better if they were black to fit the theme I'm not really sure that many of them are green but again adds character which is nice um, and we just put these on either side which is quite a common thing to see and it does work in the sense of it does fit the theme here as well we're you know we're talking about a very amateur football club here professional semi-professional in that sense so keeping it to feel like that and not go over the top and that's what I had to try and avoid doing here with my detailing I could have gone crazy and really made a really nice looking stadium here but we had to stick to the um, the requirements of this build and try and make it look a bit more like it would do um, we had to find some billboards as well to fill in the gaps here again you know it's just another little thing don't have to do this um, but for me personally it wouldn't quite work out and look too good if I didn't um, and again here as well we've got some um, turnstiles here for entry it's probably a little bit overkill for <laughs> for this sort of a, a football club and the league that they're probably in it probably wouldn't really have these um, it's probably more likely to be a, a hole in the wall sort of entrance for a door as opposed to this but again you know just adding to that now one thing I have really enjoyed recently and I've definitely developed my skills in doing so over the last few episodes um, is creating these car parks which are run down concrete is breaking away getting it to look realistic and I've really really have enjoyed doing this and I, I I've really yeah I've really feel like I've mastered this now and using the page up and page down functions to hide away the you know we don't want these to be too contrasting against the concrete so I've worked out a few cool and interesting ways and com combinations of different decals now which certainly do the job so you'll see that just there for those of you who have been following the channel for quite some time, you'll know that recently we have been looking at the opportunity to allow you guys to build something for the series. Now I decided on a farmhouse because it's a relatively small build and quite easy for me to deploy on the island. And well, I wanted to get you guys involved in the series a little bit more. So if you are interested in building something like this, check out the description details below on how you can do so. So let's look at what we have here. This is the first deployment and it's by Rowendy. Brilliant, brilliant build. This is really pretty much exactly what I was looking for here today. Now you can see very simplistic, but so, so detailed. And that's exactly what I wanted to see from these builds. I wanted to see something that was very small, constructive, but had you know a lot of detail within it and uh, Roendi has really done a fantastic job here I particularly like this shot here showing the actual barn with physical items inside it really does give that feel of something realistic great use of decals and the plant arrangement as well are really really good I think what I'm really looking forward to is seeing how everyone sort of views a farmhouse because they're going to be different from every location that people are from whether it's a different country or just a different part of the UK for example everyone's going to have a different take on these farmhouses and I really can't wait to see the difference between them all if you enjoyed this build by Randy and you want to see more check out their YouTube channel in the description below And back into the build 
Next, I wanted to try and just make the area look a little bit more tidy. And what I mean by that is I was wanted to put some of these fences down. These are the uh, rural fences by Mac Welshman and they do work really, really well. They're not too overpowering. They are very, you know, very common to see these types of ones around these sort of areas. And um, I believe looking at the Google Maps, this is pretty much the same sort of fence that's actually here on the location, which is always good. But my plan was to sort of kind of give that feeling that the state, the ground itself was going to be, you know, away from everything else on the road. A little bit of the foliage around it as well to hide it away just to make it look a bit more interesting as well. And just finding a few more props that I've not really used much of. I mean, I put down the the entrance um, barrier and some of these drains as well. And I wanted to try and make the, the actual stadium um, changing room sort of entrance area look a bit more, I guess, alive. And I thought the best way was using these curbs. I just wanted to have something to make it just look a little bit different rather than having it all be in this destroyed concrete i wanted to make it almost feel like maybe this clubhouse was putting maybe a bit later maybe it's just been sort of built up it could be a, a little sports center inside maybe a little gym perhaps in there you know just make it feel a little bit more different and alive and give it a bit more of a personality trait Another thing I think that I have developed quite well recently, and it's only due to doing so much of it in terms of placement, is just creating these almost like overgrown um, sort of foliage sections. Uh, for example, I mean, this area here, you wouldn't expect it to be looked after. It would be overgrown sort of weeds and uh, bushes and grass, which would have been, you know, again, overgrown. So I wanted to try and create that feel and I've started to find a nice couple of combinations now where it's really starting to work and I think the only thing I need to try and do now is use that to my advantage in the sense of also keeping in mind that too many of them will kill the frames and I certainly <laughs> certainly started to feel that um, being something quite painful as I was recording the cinematics at the end because of the amount of different trees and foliage I put down so I need to try and find the balance between the two somehow but um, we're getting there. Uh, I mean, you know, for me personally, I'm all about the looks and the realism. So it, it works. It really does work. But that does pretty much bring us now to the end of this episode. And it has really been fun. I've really enjoyed working on this stadium. It really has come to life now that it's got some of the foliage around it. And we've detailed it to a good level. I'm really happy with it. What do you guys think? Let me know what you think about the build. Let me know in the comments section your thoughts on that. And we'll be working on something very interesting in the next episode. So make sure you stick around and I'll catch you all in the next one. Thanks for watching and all the best.